Uh, coach, obviously, has got to feel good to, to get a, a, a good, challenging win where you guys really had to work for it. And we've had you know, quite a few games where it's been over in the first half. And the really kind of hurt us this game because our kids weren't used to playing full quarters. And how do you get in game-ready shape? That's the tough part. So they persevered, uh, played through a lot of you know cramps and things like that. They did a great job and uh, against a very good CAK team. Their record does not indicate how good they are. Definitely, yeah. And Nate Silver really had a moment where he had two fumbles, came back with a big pick. You still rode him down the line. What, what did he show you? Yeah, I mean, I know that kid. I mean, he's, kid's got a 4.2. I knew he had it in him. He's so smart that he didn't mean to fumble. He's not going to do it again. He's going to find a way to make a play, and he did it. And that's just a great testament to other kids, younger kids that see that and say, hey, you can screw up, but you just make the most important plays the next one. And a great job keeping his head clean on that. Definitely. Rush was just constant all evening. Anything like Red especially, he, he really showed you something, I guess, tonight? Yeah, Red Elwood did a great job. I mean, he, he's so gassed right now. But, I mean, his spin move, he would just bull rush. And just enough pressure. To, to, to make John Sharp have to get rid of that ball, and at times, as you saw, you know, it was incomplete. So, didn't get a lot of sacks, but a few hurries, that's huge. Nathan Morris at the other end did a great job, too. So, hats, hats off to the defensive entire team. Matt Green, defensive coordinator, just getting those guys ready. And, and typically, every year, he does. We struggled last year offensively and lost by eight, but, uh, I mean, we defensively do pretty good against CAK. Definitely. Uh, and then, had so many drives that were just so close right there on the door. Just, break, just really kind of break your spirits there. For Absolutely. I mean, we uh, we give up. We give up the punt return. Well, let's just say you know we fumble on the one. Um, you know we, we, we shot ourselves in the foot. And I told my team out there, the mark of a good team is when not things don't go well for you each night or on a Friday night that you can persevere through it come out and win against a good, solid, quality football team. So we got to cut those mistakes out. But it was, it's, it's good to know that we can do that and not get a hit. No, 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 not at all. I'm just not picking at, at you, man. Um, okay, so, so you go through. You, what, what's going through your mind when you fumble on, on, on the two-yard line? I'm sure you're, you're pretty down on yourself there. Yeah, I was, I, in the huddle, I was going through my head, don't fumble, don't fumble, don't fumble. And then I get down on the one, see the end zone there, try to stretch it out, ball goes. And I'm just like, oh, like, not again, not again. But, I mean, you know, I just knew how to make up for it. Coach McCain came up there to the sideline, told me I was all right. I was sitting still going to run me toward the end of the game and told me to go out there and make a play. Definitely. And, and Coach ran you the entire time as well. I mean, it, were you just seeing things really well, or were you just kind of really motivated from the fumbles as well? But I mean, I was, I was definitely motivated and ready to get out there. But, I mean, everybody was motivated. Everybody was picking up the slack for me when I fumbled. Lime was out there driving, getting off the block, getting uh, people blocked on the outside and making the lanes for me. Was there anything you saw specifically on that interception you had? I mean, he was – he seemed like he had a step on you, but you, you really accelerated and caught up to him. We knew that post route was coming when he cool right boots out, likes to throw it back across the side. And I was like, I hope I can get there underneath and just kind of took a chance, undercut it, and fortunately made the play. Definitely. Was it, was it frustrating as well for you guys to have so many close drives that were right there and then just oh, we, we felt like we felt like we were so close to burying them and just getting over the hill and getting a nice comfortable lead. It just never happened for us all game. But I mean coach did a good job of helping us adjust and just power through overcoming adversity and getting the win. Definitely. It seems like this is the first time you guys have really been tested as well this year. You feel like that's possibly true and reactions after being going through a tough game? Yes sir, I think that was good for us. We needed this. I mean coming out strength schedule wasn't great to start the year and we needed a really good four quarter game that we had to battle the whole time. Really set us up for the rest of our schedule against a little tough. Definitely.